Cancer, hello, my darlings. How are you all? I am so excited to be back on YouTube after uh, a quite an eventful summer. Um, thank you for your infinite patience whilst I have only been intermittently reading. Um, I'm now delighted to be back to do your October readings. Thank you for your love and your support. The messages I've received both on YouTube and personally as well. It's been a very transformational time. Um, but I'm back here within my divine design where I love to be the most doing readings for all of you lovely, lovely, lovely people. Let me just put that in front of my light again. So uh, let's move ahead with your reading. I am using the Spirit Animal Oracle, first of all, for you, followed by the Spirit Song Tarot, followed by potentially the Shaman's Dream Oracle, followed by my Veritas Oracle, uh, which uh, looks like this with the lovely bumblebee on the front cover and all of the spirit messages on the back, uh, which you can purchase online through my website. Uh, the link is in the description box below. Um, one of the things I've been doing this summer as well, and I do offer very reasonable worldwide shipping rates. Thank you to all of you who let me know that the cards have arrived safely. They've gone all over the world, and I'm just loving hearing from you uh, how much you are enjoying them. So let's move ahead with your reading, Cancer, and let's see what wishes to come out from the Spirit Animal Oracle for you. Thank you. That wants to come out. The Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide, along with the lizard spirit, dream your world or dream the world into being. So the buffalo, um, I feel at this moment in time that you're outside of your comfort zone. You're not in your natural kind of environment where you feel that you should be. Um, and there is a little bit of conflict in your life and a little bit of people kind of seeing what you're going to do next and maybe being a bit wary of what you're going to do next. But you're on a you're on a journey and there's quite a lot of stubbornness there within you as well. And uh, you are dreaming your world into being with the lizard card here, too, because actually, you know, the power of imagination the power of dreams is so much more powerful than the power sometimes of doing in a place that is not feeling the belief and I really feel that you these cards this card is about movement this buffalo with number 10 is endings and new beginnings and you know he's ready and he's moving and it's almost like kind of you're facing head on everything that's happening at the moment with the understanding that there is so much abundance in all of the experiences that you are going through. The buffalo represents so much abundance in so many different areas of your life. And sometimes, you know, what, as I say, one of my cards, you know, what a mouse might consider a feast, we might consider a morsel, but you are beginning to see the abundance in everything and, and are seeing, therefore, what can come from things that perhaps weren't... Um, at the time necessarily uh, bringing forth an abundance of gratitude but you, you 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 that that's shifted within you as well the abundant universe will provide it is infinite it is there for us the universe always says yes and dreaming your world into being this little lizard is actually looking at the buffalo so that is that recognition that you have now that the abundant universe will provide and moving forward learning from the past with the elephant spirit learning from the past and also the rabbit spirit wants to pop out literally it popped out of the deck now is a lucky time luck is something we produce through our energetic harmonious alignment with the universe when we're co-creating and so you're in a very fortuitous lucky if you might want to call it time coincidental time serendipitous time where things just seem to be happening but that's because you're seeing uh, abundance which comes in many forms through helping others through gratitude of through being there it could be financial it could be health it could be um, happiness, whatever it is, there is an abundance of things happening at the moment for you, which before maybe you weren't seeing as abundant, but now you are because you have a different perspective of life. So that's beautiful. Let's have a look with the Spirit Song Tarot for you. Thank you for the rabbit, the lizard, the buffalo and the elephant. So much that you've learned from the past now. And it is put you outside of your comfort zone, as I said, and that you are a kind of on a bit of a, a fast track at the moment. You may not recognize that energetically, but I feel you're kind of on a fast track and there are a few obstacles in your way, but you're kind of just moving through them 
knowing that you have to keep moving, but also recognizing that perhaps those obstacles were there just to slow you down to the right pace for you. But there, it, it's, a, it's an extraordinary, powerful energy around you at this time. Look at that. Absolutely. The queen of, uh, well, I'm seeing the queen of feathers on the bottom of the deck perception and truth so you see things now very clearly where you couldn't see them before you were in the dark now you can begin to see things with um using other senses as well like the bat would do uh and you know the bat rep bat represents that we can see things in a certain way when we choose to see things in a certain way and sometimes the choice of seeing something in a certain way comes back to conditioned um, behaviors, condition, conditioned concepts, very firm, strong rooted beliefs that we have about ourselves or about others. And now that's changed. And now you're able to move through things like that buffalo in a way that is giving you a, a, a kind of completely different perception. And you're understanding the truth of things. Now, maybe this is the truth about your past. Maybe it's the truth about relationships you've been in or your family environment, whatever it may be, my darling. But as the Queen of Swords, this is a, a very, I'm getting the words, auspicious time, a lucky time for you because the universe loves to immediately respond to show you that that shift within you, that shift in perception brings about instant rewards for you. It's a demonstration of the power of you co-creating with spirit. Look at that energy and results, electric energy and results, where attention goes, energy flows. You've got the whole of the universe working for you at this moment in time as you are moving forward in a very abundant way. That is because your perception says you're abundant. You know, as I come back to, a mouse may see... Um, a feast while we see just a morsel. You are choosing to see your life in a very abundant way and therefore you are attracting more abundance into your life. Uh, an awakening. You're coming into the full expression of who you are. This is the uh, judgment cards. This is about you stepping into that space, stepping into the beauty of who you are, saying, do you know what? This is who I am. This is what I'm attracting into my life. Peacocks are stunning, aren't they? Uh, my sister has peacocks and they've got little babies at the moment. And uh, they're fascinating to watch. They communicate in a different way. Uh, they don't like too much of high pitched voices. They like a low, a low sound. And you have a different way of communicating. Bats equally have a different way of communicating. And I feel that you've been very, I keep coming back to the fact that you've been misunderstood in the past, that, that perhaps how you did and said things was construed in a way that other people didn't understand, but you knew and you understood. And although it was frustrating for you, you had to go through all of that to now come into saying, do you know what? This is who I am. This is who I am. I understand who I am. I've taken the time to understand who I am. I understand who I am based on the understanding of all of the experiences and the relationships I've attracted into my life. And all of them to show me who I am. And I'm actually now coming into a real place of I really quite like who I am I, I I love who I am something that you found very difficult to do before and it's not with any judgment now there's less and less and less judgment now of yourself and of others as well this is an awakening my darling and um you have now this kind of vision to see ahead and to see the abundance in all things too and you're really beginning as I said to 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 get results to see results to see the kind of symmetry of the lining up of um kind of what you might consider to be fortuitous lucky things that are happening the little acorns here now remember the acorn that little tiny acorn grows into a massive oak it doesn't know how to do it it's already within it. It's the pure potential within the acorn. It remembers, it just does. And so you're in the remembering of who you are, in the remembering that you are a part of all that is, experiencing itself in your remembrance and love of who you are and not the dismissiveness of who you are. You are creating so many gorgeous, abundant things in your life right now, because you're saying, this is who I am, bring it on. Okay, I can see it now. And so lots and lots of perhaps small opportunities, results are happening for you to demonstrate. And each and every one of those, whether this is in work or new relationships, each and every one of them has the pure potential within them to be something incredible, because the acorn grows into the into the oak. Um, 
and there is the king of feathers there so we had the queen of swords and now we have the king of swords so this is the balancing between you of the masculine and feminine my darling the divine masculine and feminine within each and every one of us and you know the masculine is well the the, the feminine within us is the re receptacle receiving uh relaxed intuitive energy within us and then the masculine is the is the energy that takes that wisdom and the feminine is always the oracle for the masculine, takes that wisdom and uses it in a very uh, practical, um, perfect steps to achieve that which the feminine part of us, the intuitive side of us, is receiving and desires. And I also see with this card as well that uh, you've got the lion here. You are withdrawing from entering into perhaps what would have been conflicts or squabbles or things in the surroundings around you, whether that's family or friends, you're just choosing to remain observant and quiet and only getting involved, choosing your battles wisely, choosing your words wisely as the queen, king and queen of swords. And uh, also understanding that, you know, everybody is doing the best they can with what they have and what they're given and how they choose to see life as well. And so you're, you're sitting there in a very self honest way and a very um, a way that's uh, looking at the situation and communi communicating to yourself also honestly about others as well and what you're who you're choosing to 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 stay close to and who you're choosing to move away from. So uh, really lovely cards here for you. Let's have a look to see King and Queen, and um, they're saying I I just want to show you. Do you see here the waters going around? With this knowledge and understanding that you now have and learning from the past and and kind of watching yourself and watching others now and really flood of insights and, and things coming through for you as well, you're kind of able to see there is the bend here. So the water is going around. Um, normally you can't see round a corner, you know, but you can't see what is around the next corner, but you actually have the foresight and insight to see what is around the next corner you kind of know you're seeing the signs of the universe and that's what's so nice so let's um see what the shaman's dream oracle has for you thank you <laughs> so it's very funny um you've got the empty well time to replenish so and it's almost kind of like a round thing is as, as well. So what this is saying, one and six, seven reflection, it's and that line. You've had quite an extraordinary time recently. Now, I don't know if this is recent in terms of the last day, the last week, the last month, the last few years, whatever it may be, my darling. But this and with the lion here and the retreat, but the understanding and the bats tend to keep themselves to themselves as well as do lizards um as do rabbits um and you know peacocks as well you know they tend to be within their their small group spirit is saying just refrain from at this point of time opening yourself up to anything any new forms of relationships that might draw from you and and I feel in the past you've done that you've given and given and given but in a certain way that's been misunderstood and you've depleted your energies and it's very important at this time that you you're about to you know you have nothing left to give at the moment emotionally you are depleted you are drained and it's really important that you give some time for yourself now with your insight taking practical steps to um and understanding that this transformation can be exhausting as well and that you are also um others around you may be drawing on you to help them without realizing it and you're just being asked to come away from that that's that line just to come away from any conflicts at this time or anybody that drains you because you need to replenish yourself and uh, where is that well empty well time to replenish and it's it's not to say that the the energy is not going to come back it is going to come back but it's going to come back fresh and new source energy in a well and you're going to come up from this and you're going to be speaking your truth but you need this time at this moment of time just to be 
okay just to replenish to renew and it is a bit of a balancing act but you you're doing it already i can see that uh with the um the king of swords and you know what also with this awakening card the peacock spends quite a bit of time before it comes into the full glory of who it is losing the old feathers in order to replenish with the new and that's what's happening uh, for you and the lizard hides in the shadows so um let's have a look and then you know the rabbit is to say you know this is a really important time because rabbits create lots and lots and lots and lots of babies now some of you may be pregnant but what it's saying is this is a very auspicious thank you spirit again or lucky time for you you may not feel it there may be lots of little things happening for you at the time but this is a time of seedling growth this is a time of end of winter beginning of summer it's a time of replenishment it's a time of the waters to come down it's a time of resettling in order for these seeds to grow and just recognize that we go through cyclic changes in our life just like nature but we are sometimes resistant to that although we completely have radical acceptance when it comes to nature so let's have a look to see what wishes to come out thank you spirit so what has come out for you is observance and again, I come back to the, the buffalo observing as well here and the elephant as well observing too, um, is be this at the moment, independent. Don't step into old types of relationships. You might be still attracting them in towards you just to kind of see the contrast of what you may or may not want. Just let them be, let others do and be what makes them happy. Be observant, be protective, be non-judgmental. Uh, let everybody live their own lives the way that they uh, feel that they ought to live them. And if anybody comes to you for advice, then by all means, give that advice. But observance, surrender your conflict of thoughts and carefully consider what is occurring with non-judgment and attachment. And I really feel that's happening for you. Let them be and do what makes them happy. And you've got the, the happy hen house here. Affirmation is a serenity prayer. There is a full message on the back. I won't do it now for you because the main message was observance for you. But affirmation, grant me serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference in the choices that I am making. So there is a transference of information happening in that observance for you, and that is creating this transformational time. And just, you know, the buffalo wouldn't chase after anything. The rabbit wouldn't chase after anything. The eel certainly wasn't, and the lizard. All of these animals, the lizard and the bat, they're all kind of either quietly confident or step away from the limelight as well. And um, what's really important about the word observation for you, which Spirit has guided my eyes to, is the Latin root observare means to note or regard, but also keep safe and protect. It is key in such observations to carefully consider without judgment and to keep this quietly to oneself until such time as it all falls into divine order within our hearts and minds. So anything that is slightly uh, perhaps disconcerting you or you're confused about, by all means, talk with others that you resonate deeply with and you know that they hear you and see you and understand you. Don't talk to others that perhaps will give you the words that you want to hear rather than the words you need to hear or will create more of that draining energy in your life. Um, it, you know, it's 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 quite tricky sometimes to balance you know, the, those friendships and those family members that want to assist and want to help, but also within their perception of life, draw you down further into a feeling of, oof, and that's what spirit is saying. You have the perception to see through all of this. You don't actually need other people's knowledge at this time. You have the wisdom to understand. It's all opening up. And the more you're observing, the more you're getting information at this time. And all of that is transformational. And then you're going to be asked to kind of perhaps you're ready for a new direction, a new focus, a new opportunities for you that are coming in. Uh, so there we are, angels. I think... I believe that is it, isn't it, Spirit? Um, uh, that is it for you. And there are some, oh, uh, where are we? Do you remember that rabbit spirit, lucky time? What they've just guided my eyes to is on the top of the deck is the community card. And look, here are the little ladybirds, the little ladybugs. What do they mean? Luck. Something, some more than one thing. There's more than one ladybird coming into this bug hotel, which represents community. More than one lucky 
fortuitous, coincidental, serendipitous event is going to be happening for you, which is you co-creating with spirit, that is um, for you. OK, now community means three things. It means unity together, com together. Unity is one, com together. And and munis means to be of service. So the universe, somebody is going to be of service to you. And it may be something very temp somebody very temporary in your life or an experience that's very temporary in your life because this is a hotel. But it's something that you're going to think, oh, my goodness, that was lucky. And um, and there's a lot of abundance uh, happening for you as well. You might be asked to to move in a new direction. This could be a new job, a new home, a new a new something for you. But you're ready for it because you're you've come into this space of saying this is who I am, and I'm not hiding from who I am now. And I love who I am. And my goodness, the universe loves self love because it all starts with self love. And once we understand and appreciate ourselves then we can understand and appreciate others as well and be in non-judgment of them and live life according to our heart rather than our conflicted minds so there we are angel i trust that that has helped those that have resonated with this reading and i look forward to doing another one for you next week in the meantime have a gorgeous weekend wherever you are take care my darlings bye bye